On a racetrack, one of the world's most powerful, most expensive and rarest supercars is being put through its paces. Named the Regera, it is one of the latest models from Swedish manufacturer Koenigsegg. For 25 years, its founder has been working quietly to build ultra-high performance cars to compete with the likes of Bugatti and Pagani. When I started out as a, as a young boy, I was 22 years old when I started the company in 1994, I said to myself that why would anyone buy one of my cars? Uh, it's an unknown brand by an unknown person from a country not famous for sports cars, etc., etc. Uh, so I said to myself, they have to really stand out and be different and hopefully better in some ways than the competitors out there. Otherwise, I don't have a right to exist in this marketplace. Quickly, the company notched up a number of records. Its vehicles broke the 0 to 400 to 0 km per hour record, clocking 33.29 seconds in 2017, which the manufacturer bested two years later with a performance of less than 32 seconds. The driver behind the latest record recalls the attempt well. It was really bum, uh, uh, bouncy and uh, there was also a very big uh, uh, bump in uh, when I passed 390 km per hour. The cars are made by hand at this factory in southern Sweden. With dozens of people working on each model, the cars come with a hefty price tag. The most recent costs nearly 3 million euros. The price may put many buyers off, but the 125 copies of the most recent model were sold out within two days. It's a very different way of working than uh, a regular production. So of course, yeah, it's, it can be, can be as, uh, similar to jewellery. And in a way, even though all of them need to, to, to be at the same level, same standard level as, uh, as with the, the, the cars we show in Geneva, all of them are slightly different. In 2020, the manufacturer aims to make a new, less expensive model in greater numbers. But with a price tag of 1 million euros, you still might not see a Koenigsegg on the road near you soon.